Yesterday, I recommended guillotine, which has a really fun mechanism of moving people around in a line, but there's not a lot of strategy to that game. So if you like that kind of a mechanism, but you want more strategy in your game, then I recommend Frontline No Comrades. Hey! This is a perfect game for people who like screwing over other people. Like if you ever, you know, thinking like, man, I wish my actions had negative consequences for other people, then this is a great game for you. In Frontline No Comrades, you are at the front lines of a battle, and your objective is not to win this battle, it's to be the last person alive. So you are taking incoming fire, and you're trying to duck out of the way, you're trying to push other people in the way of bullets, you're trying- Like a lot of the other games I'm recommending here, uh, Frontline No Comrades is a good quarantine game because it's cheap, it's small, and you can play it with a limited number of players. Uh, they say that you can play it with two players. I don't really think that's true. I think you really need three players, uh, and you can play it to up to eight players. So one word of warning, I think this game is a little complicated at first. Like it took me maybe three or four times of playing it before I really fully wrapped my head around it and was like, oh, I get what's going on. I get the strategy here. I get what to do. Cool. 